All right, now sometimes when you go to arm your drone, for whatever reason, the props just won't start spinning. And you'll probably notice as well that the, the light on top of your Navio shield is actually a fast yellow blinking light. Now, a slow yellow blinking light means that your RC controller isn't on, but if you turn on your RC controller and you see a fast yellow blinking light, that means that there is some problem in your drone's firmware preventing it from being able to arm the motors. Now, the easiest way to tell what that problem may be is to open up your ground control station, in this case we're using a mission planner, and then go into the messages portion of the ground control station. And here we'll see that we have some messages being sent to us from the firmware. We're being told that our throttle is below failsafe, and that just means our RC controller is off. But we're getting some messages from the, the low-level firmware. And these, these messages might say like GPS glitch, or maybe a compass variance, or uh, accelerometer calibration needed. But the information that you'll need to determine why your drone isn't arming will probably be in this messages section. Now the most prevalent problem that you'll see when using a Navio is actually called compass variance, or some sort of compass problem. On our build, we actually have two compasses. We have one built in internally to the Navio shield, and the other one is on that GPS mount that we mounted um, up in the air away from our electronics. So if those compasses are outputting two different values that are drastically different from each other, you're going to get thrown an error in this section that will say compass variance. And this is a very prevalent issue with Navio, as I said, and the easiest way I've found to uh, get, get over this problem is to go to initial setup. We'll go into mandatory hardware and then compass. And you'll probably see here that we have uh, multiple compasses selected and they're all checked on. Use this compass, use this compass, use this compass. Well, let's, if you're getting the compass error, try and just keep on compass one. So we'll click off compass two and compass three if it is selected. And we'll just keep this one compass active. Those changes will be written to your uh, drone's firmware. And then try to maybe reset or turn off and turn back on your drone and see if you're still getting the, those compass variance errors. If you are, the next step might be to perform another compass calibration. If you did a compass calibration indoors, that's a big problem. You should always do your compass calibration outdoors because you have a lot of interference when you're doing it indoors. So definitely always do your calibrations outside when you're for the magnetometer. All right, now we know where to go to diagnose our drone's issues if it's not arming for whatever reason.